On May 24th, children of Uvalde Elementary were celebrating the end of the year with an awards ceremony and in-classroom party. This celebration took a turn for the worst. At 11.30 a.m., faculty and staff urged the school to warn an active shooter was on campus and the school was put into lockdown. At 11.33 a.m., a juvenile gunman entered Robb Elementary with an AR-15 and released over 100 rounds into classrooms 111 and 112, killing 19 students and two teachers. By the end of the terrifying attack that lasted 77 minutes. Is there anybody inside of the building? Tyler is advising he is in the room full of victims. Full of victims at this moment. Eight to nine children. When it was over, 11 of Reyes' students were dead. The excruciating report on those 77 minutes concluding officers failed to prioritize saving innocent lives over their own. Once again, the nation is in mourning for the victims of a senseless mass shooting. This time, at least 19 children and two adults were killed. When he went in the classroom, he said, you're all going to die, and he just started shooting. Music. What did Mia do then? So she had a friend next to her um, that she was pretty sure was already dead and was laying on the ground, bleeding out. Um, and she put her hands in her friend's blood um, and then smeared it, she said, all over her body. Um, she wanted to seem like, she wanted to look like she was dead. I just want her back. I just want her back. I don't want to do none of this. A father's grief, a mother's silent anguish. A young, boisterous family with five little girls now shattered. Unless you're going to put a brigade outside of every single elementary school, outside of every single church, outside of every single movie theater, outside of every single shopping mall in this country, the solution is not going to be arming every single inch of every single school. The solution is going to be making sure that these kids whose brains are breaking don't have access to these weapons of mass destruction parents, the classmates, the co-workers of the 19 students and two teachers who perished in Uvalde, Texas this week. Yes, we offer our condolences. Yes, we offer our thoughts and prayers. But thoughts and prayers alone is not enough to prevent future tragedies from happening. My day wore green high-top converse with a heart she had hand-drawn on the right toe because they represented her love of nature. Wore these every day. These are the same green converse on her feet that turned out to be the only clear evidence that could identify her after the shooting. How about that? Mm -hmm. So today, we stand for Lexi, and as her voice, we demand action. We seek a ban on assault rifles and high capacity magazines. We understand that for some reason, to some people, to people with money, to people who fund political campaigns, that guns are more important than children. So at this moment, we ask for progress. We seek to raise the age to purchase these weapons from 18 to 21 years of age. We seek red flag laws, stronger background checks, we also want to repeal gun manufacturers' liability immunity. Millions and millions of gun owners in America, and to be able to say this one 18-year-old uh, is now going to wipe out gun ownership across the country is absolutely not acceptable. You see Democrats and a lot of folks in the media whose immediate solution is to try to restrict uh, the constitutional rights of law-abiding citizens. I'd have the same reaction I would to every time there's anything that comes up, they want to blame guns.